So last week we talked about Lemis. Remember? First of all, hello, by the way. Um, and we talked about the young man that's in that story, right? The young man who got a second chance and then out of that lived his life different and helped a lot of people and changed a lot of people's lives. This week I want to look at a different person in that story. I want to look at this man that's a police officer. He's a very honest and very by the book guy. Like he works really hard to bring justice and do the right thing. He really follows the law well and um, yeah, really tries to do what is honest. And during the movie and during the play, you see this police officer chasing the young man. Because he knows like something is still there, like some stuff hasn't been totally redeemed yet. And so he keeps chasing him, keeps chasing him, keeps chasing him. And eventually, like, the young man, which is by that time older, extends grace to the police officer. He has the opportunity to just kill the police officer and get rid of them, like, in a, it was a bit of a warlike revolution situation that was going on there. Um, but he chooses to actually save him. He chooses to let him go and not kill him. And not to show, like, you know, show, like, grace and show, like, hope. Even he had the opportunity to do something. It reminds me a bit of David when David had the opportunity to kill Saul. Like, and he didn't take it because he knew, like, I'm not going to do this because... I don't have the allowance, like, this is not the right thing to do. He wanted to do the right thing. It was in his heart. So, that police officer ran away, right? Like, he got away in that situation. And then, later on in the story, he shows up again. And he eventually catches the young slash old man now. And he puts, like, handcuffs on him and... He's like, you know, you know, I have to do this. I have to arrest you because you have broken the law. And the uh, old man by now says like, yeah, I know, like, I broke the law and you're totally right. Like, justice has to be done. And the police officer looks at the young man and be like, yeah, or old man by that point. And he keeps looking at him. And then there's this powerful scene that's coming up. The police officer takes off the handcuffs of the young man, gives him a letter, and then he puts the handcuffs on himself and jumps into the river and says, justice has to be done. The man who was innocent like the police officer gave his life to save the, by that time, old man. And so that all the failure and all the sin in this old man's life is gone. Nothing is left anymore. He wrote him a letter which talked about like, hey, this man's free, like let him go, he's totally free. That's powerful, you know? He made that choice. Even he ran like after like this belief, like during his whole life, like, he has to do justice, he has to do all those things. And I think in a way, like, he never believes that there's grace for himself. So he's trying always through that system, like, to keep, like, doing the right thing, keep doing the right thing. So by the end of his life, he hopefully will be, like, done in the right way, will have done the right thing. And it reminds me so much of, like, you know, how we sometimes do that in our lives. Sometimes you're trying like to really do all those things that are right and right and right and right. And that's okay. I'm not saying don't do the right things. I'm not trying to say that with that at all. But we're doing them to prove we're good enough. We're doing them to prove like, hey, we are living the law like fully. We will never, like, we are not making mistakes and whatever. But the reality is we all make mistakes. We all fall short, right? And that's why Jesus died for us. This is why there is grace. We can never follow the whole law. 
we will never be able to achieve that the law is there as a guideline to show us like hey you know you will not be able to do that only the father can redeem you and that's powerful so I want to encourage you with that today if you experience that in your own life that you try to do everything right and I'm not talking about you know what I'm talking about I'm not talking about you doing the right thing but you doing the right thing to prove like that you're kind of prove to God like oh I deserve your grace now or God like look I did all this great stuff like for you like now I probably should be okay if you do it out of those reasons I want to encourage you to come before God today and ask him to show you his grace in a new way to show you how much he loves you and how much he wants you to be free you know he's already paid the price it's already done and I just want to encourage you with that your sins already taken it's already nailed at the cross it's already gone from your life when you gave your life to Jesus it's gone of course keep repenting if you have new sin obviously but that's a given but look at Jesus today and let him speak to you don't live your life in a way like that you totally miss out on the grace that he wants to give you because there's freedom in that and that's how we come alive and a police officer I think never experienced it for himself but the young man experienced it twice there was grace at the end of his life and there was grace when the um, the bishop came to or the priest came to him and set him free it's amazing so I just want to encourage you in living grace let God show you grace today he loves you so much. Have a blessed week and ponder a little bit on this. So some, it's a little bit food for thought, right? Be blessed. Bye.